we came up to Canada a couple of times with Bantam team and uh, junior B team. And we didn't, you know, we didn't make the final round, but we still had two days left because we had airplane reservations. And they come up, somebody from the tournament would come in and go, hey, want to play another game? I go, yeah, sure. It's great. They call them friendlies now or something. They say, well, well, yeah, we'll have a, you know, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock work for you guys. They go, yeah, that's great. Right? That would never happen in the United States. Is that right? Oh, no. You, they wouldn't, you, you go to a tournament here and nobody even talks to you. You know, they cash your check, put your name on the board in the arena. When you walk in, it tells you what, what locker room to go to. Nobody comes down and says, hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> and so... Um, did did you guys? I'm sure you did. You saw the CBC deal a bunch of years ago. Uh, the history of a people. Uh, did you do you guys see that? Refresh our memories. Well, it's a it's like a it was like a ten DVDs, and uh, the Canadian broadcast company did this. It's about the history of hockey in Canada going all the way back to the early 1900s. I don't and think I saw that. It, and when I did a, I was doing a USA Hockey presentation in Casper, Wyoming, of all places. And there was a guy, that's oil country, right? So there's there were some Canadians down there. And this one guy, he said, have you seen this? I go, no. He, he bought it and mailed it to me. Came in a, you know, in a, I mean, a packet of, of DVDs. And I watched it and I go, oh. Now I understand the Canadian hockey world and very different than our hockey world. And I get it and I and appreciate it. And I just thought it was great. And of course, then I loaned it to somebody. You know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> I got a lot of those. Over. Never got I've it. never seen again. <laughs> 